Did you know that Persian cats are the most popular breed in the entire world? Neither did I. But why are they so famous? Let's find out. I'm going to tackle the following topics today. So at the end of the video, you'll undoubtedly know everything about these amazing cats. If you're into cat ancestors of Persian cats arrived in Europe in the 1600s. They were brought to Italy from Iran and in France from the Ottoman Empire. The Turkish Angora may be the ancestor of these cats. Their unusual appearance gained them tons of popularity. As such, they quickly made their way to England and participated in the first cat show ever. Moving on to their appearance, you'll immediately notice Persian cats look different from all other breeds. That's mainly due to their flat face and shortened muzzle. There are actually two types of Persian cats, the traditional or doll-faced Persians and the peak-faced or extreme. The extreme style calls for the forehead, nose, and chin to be in vertical alignment. In the traditional style, the muzzle is visible, even if shorter than the average. The peak-faced Persians appeared recently, in the 1960s. At first, breeders were discouraged from pursuing this type. That's because these cats are prone to some severe health issues. Nowadays, only the peak-faced Persians are recognized as a breed by the major cat associations. This puzzles many cat lovers worldwide. Fortunately, the general public still prefers the doll-faced Persian cats. But regardless of its muzzle shape, the medium-sized Persian has a round face, big round eyes, and small ears set far apart. Persian cats have really long, thick fur and relatively short legs. Their eyes can be of any color, and so can their coats. There are also other types of Persian cats. The exotic short hair is basically a Persian cat with short fur. The Himalayan looks stunning, but it's not usually recognized as a separate breed. The chinchilla is recognized as a different breed in South Africa. And more recently, there are toy or teacup versions of Persian cats. However, these cats most likely suffer from a disease that stunts their growth and heavily affects their bones. So please don't buy them. Now that you know how to spot a Persian cat, let's discuss their space needs. Persian cats, unlike other cats, are ground dwellers. They don't usually require tall cat trees to be happy. On the other hand, they need a few really comfy places, as they love to chill. You can even get them some medium-sized cat trees if you want to spoil them. On the bright side, your shelves should be safe, and you can decorate them as you please. We learned quite a bit about Persian cats, but what is their personality like? The Persian is a quiet feline who enjoys a calm and relaxing environment. Before learning about them, I used to think Persian cats are little divas. Turns out this is definitely not the case. Despite their grumpy appearance, Persian cats are pretty warm and caring. They're loving towards their owners and often towards guests. Persian cats enjoy being held and cuddled, or maybe they're just too lazy to fight it. Even if affectionate, these cats won't be around your ankles at every given minute. They will, however, wait for you to arrive from